Hello all newcomers, and welcome back fellow Eternians. As always, it's Emperor AP, and today we are going to be talking about some unique features of the Empire of Eternia. We haven't really gone into depth about how the Empire looks, and how its uh, land masses were created, things like that, really getting into the culture of it. So today we are going to be talking about the unique fact that Eternia has a beach. That's right, the Empire has its own beach. Now, it's small, and when I say small, I mean uh, maybe a few inches by a few inches. Uh, but it has a particularly unique history that I thought we could talk about today. The biggest thing that I've been excited about, seeing these, uh, this little beach that I've discovered around the Empire that has essentially built up through drainage from our gutters. Now, uh, many uh, areas have gutters that will go down into a drain that'll leak off onto grass, maybe even onto the pavement. But if you have something that is almost like a little containment vessel, which we had that was pre-built into the house before any Eternians actually lived here, it was particularly interesting because this sediment had built up for uh, maybe a few years and had developed this beach, uh, this very tiny beach right here on the rocks that has been built up that could be from many number of different, uh, any number of different minerals uh, and things that have collected on the storm drain have flown down it, not storm drain, excuse me, the gutter, uh, have flown down, uh, uh, go gone out of it and ended up on these rocks, piling up and just stacking up over years. Now the crazy thing about that is scientists are interested in looking at these as micrometeorites to see if any of them are tiny meteorites that fell through the atmosphere and potentially have collected up in a place that hasn't been touched for a long time. Um, these are potentially very, very common, and not incredibly common, but um, if you have a buildup over more and more, longer and longer periods of time uh, that has been completely undisturbed and open to the atmosphere, you can potentially find a lot of these. So uh, this is one uh, unique spot that we have that we'd love to show you more about and that we're going to look into categorizing potentially seeing under a microscope whether we can identify these as micrometeorites or not. So we will keep you updated and for more micronational wonders and for specifically wonders on the Empire of Eternia, keep watching. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time.